Lighting seems a little different tonight. Welcome to episode 96 of the Clarity Compressed podcast. My name is Paul J. Daly, and today we're gonna to be talking about the practical things of business and life. Clarity can only really exist in the light of truth. Branding just isn't a tactic. It's a lifestyle change. Hey, what's up? Today's moment of clarity is coming to you from this hotel room after a 15-hour workday when I was about to email or text or Slack Dylan, who puts together the podcast, and say, hey, man, I just don't have time to do a moment of clarity this week because I've been busy. And guess what? The moment of clarity is this. You will always find a reason to make an excuse for what you want to make an excuse for. And as I was about to send him that Slack message, I was typing it out and I was like, no, I can do this. And I did it. So you should do it too. And that's just stop making excuses because you'll always be able to make an excuse for whatever you want to make an excuse for. I'm going to sleep now. I'm so excited for what he's going to show me. Hurry up and show me Paul's pick. Okay, my pick for this week is the shirt that I wear every single time I travel home from a trip. And is this shirt, if you're just listening to the podcast, it is a black shirt with praying hands on the front in white. And the reason that I like this shirt is just because it puts me in a mindset of gratitude. Gratitude that I have the opportunity that I have to serve the clients I do, but also just being grateful that I'm going home to my family who loves me, who I love. And that's why I wear this shirt. Every single time I go on a trip, I pack it. The day I'm going home, when I start my trip, the shirt goes on. So that's my pick for this week, is a shirt that reminds me to be grateful. We've done one of these every single week for the last 96 weeks. And it's been an awesome journey, and I hope to do another 96 episodes. But tonight, I'm thinking about the topic of the podcast, or today, or whenever you're listening to this, and i thinking more about the practical things of business. Now, I've been in business for more than 96 weeks. I've been in business for uh, pushing 17 years now. And a lot of things have happened internally and externally. And for anyone listening to the podcast that has been doing, has been in business, or has been doing really anything for an extended period of time, you realize something the further you go along. You make different mistakes. You don't make less mistakes. Maybe you make less mistakes, but the mistakes you make are different because the mistakes that you make in the beginning of the journey are due to lack of knowledge, lack of experience, um, maybe lack of mentors, maybe a full hardy mentality, like you think you can do everything, but you run into your own limitations. And at some point, all of us run into our own limitations. And one of the things that I've learned, and uh, I didn't come up with this, but I, I learned it, and is that for competent, talented, motivated individuals, well, you're on a fast track to burning out if you don't recognize this. You can do anything you want, but you can't do everything you want. And I've gotten in more trouble in my life because I've thought I could do everything instead of I can do anything. And so I know this is already resonating with some of you, because that's what happens, we overcommit. When you ask anybody today, how are you doing, right? What, what answer do you get? How are you doing? You get, oh, busy, I'm busy, crazy, insane. Why? Most likely we're trying to do everything. That's the first one. You do anything you want, but you can't do everything you want. Now, how do you decide on which things you should be doing? Well, that's where principles and convictions come in. I had, I had a business partner for, for many years and, um, he passed away prematurely, unfortunately, but he taught me a lot of things in the, in the five or so years we were together. And one of the things that I always remember is he says, unhealthy people are led by their emotions and healthy people are led by their principles and their convictions. Unhealthy people are led by their emotions, but healthy people are led by their principles and convictions. And I really believe that that's why I surround myself with so many what I call reminders. I'm wearing a shirt, brand beats the hacks. I'm wearing a hat that says, that reminds me of the principles of clarity. If I flip this camera around, which I can't because I'm not close enough, it says we don't expect it to be easy. As a CEO, 
I made a commitment to my team. That was the team in Image Auto, that the company I built that was acquired. It's also the team at Congruent and it'll be the future team. And it's this, as the CEO, I make decisions that provide the most amount of opportunity for the most amount of people. That's a conviction, that's a principle. So when I get caught up in the rush, when I caught in the emotion that I wanna say yes to something because it's pulling on my heartstrings or I really care about people, I have to rely on the principle of conviction. So that's the first one. You can do anything you want, but you can't do everything you want. Um, the second one is this, knowing the difference between knowledge and wisdom and insights. Knowledge, wisdom, insights. You probably, you may have heard before, it says, you know, like knowledge is knowing that a tomato is a fruit. Wisdom is knowing not to put it in a fruit salad. That makes sense. I think, especially as professionals are growing, especially as we're growing and try to be motivated, we gain a lot of knowledge. Why is somebody that just got out of college, why can they be so abrasive in the workplace? Because they're full of knowledge, but they don't understand that they don't yet have the wisdom. And wisdom comes from experience. Knowledge is fact-driven. Wisdom is experience-driven. There's a story in the Bible um, where King Solomon, who, you know, as the story goes, is the wisest man to ever live. God said, you can have every, anything you want. And he didn't ask for money. He didn't ask for fame. He asked for wisdom. And as the, as the king, people would always, he would have to judge. He would have to solve problems. And two women came up to him and they said, well, these women are fighting over whose baby this is. Who gets to keep the baby, Solomon? And he said, okay, here's the answer. He said, cut the baby in half and they can each have half of the baby. And all of a sudden, one woman stepped up. And she said, no, 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 don't do that. She can have the baby. She can have the baby. And he said, the woman that just said that is the real mother. Wisdom. And then finally, the last element, knowledge, wisdom, insights. And insight, we hear this word a lot because insights are incredibly valuable. And now, if you're savvy, you take all this data and this knowledge, right? And you begin to turn it and transform it into insights. And people who can take data and make it insightful, which is really meaning it gives you, it clues you into the underlying reason that things are happening. That's an insight. And data is useless unless you can turn it into insights that are actionable. So think about your situation do you really know and are you applying knowledge, wisdom, or are you seeking after and applying insights? Okay, so we definitely had a little technical issue at the end of me recording it. I usually record the podcast by recording a video and the audio version goes here and the video version goes out on YouTube and uh, other social channels. So um, the audio might sound a little different from this point, but our microphone died out toward the end, so we missed the last little wrap. So I want to wrap it up for you. That's why the audio is a little different. But basically talking about three things this week, and I know I messed up the numbers a little bit earlier in the podcast, but number one, you can do anything you want if you're competent, capable, motivated, driven, but you cannot do everything you want. Second thing is you need to understand that unhealthy people are driven by their emotions and healthy people are driven by principles and convictions. So it's a good little time to ask yourself, do I seem to be driven more by my emotions these days? Am I making emotional decisions, reactions, or am I making them based on what I know to be true, on my principles and convictions? Finally, I talked about knowing the difference between knowledge, wisdom, and insights. Know what's going on. When you're new to something, you have, might have knowledge, but you don't have any wisdom because wisdom is driven by experience. Knowledge is driven by facts. And finally, insights is, are, are driven by um, putting everything together and having actionable, actionable insights, actionable ways that you can um, adjust what you're doing and you know, adjust in the flow so that you can be more effective. I hope you have an amazing week. I hope you have an amazing holiday season. I know a lot of people have some time off and I hope you enjoy it with the people that matter most to you. That's it. Clarity Compressed, episode 96. Happy holidays. Yeah.